All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm James McIntyre. This is the Outdoorsman's Garage YouTube channel. Welcome to another video. <laughs> um, not much going on today. I just wanted to get on here for a few minutes and say uh, I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. And uh, today's New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year. Go out and party, but be safe. Um, I also wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what is uh, going to be happening for uh, 2024 for the Outdoorsman's Garage YouTube channel. Um, I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of tool reviews to do. I mean, I, I've bought tools and used them for like three or four years and it, it's just time to get all those reviews out of the way so there's going to be a long string of those um you know i i needed some time off some time to myself and you know to uh to think and I, i've had that um in the last couple of weeks um basically just kind of working on uh this here silverado with uh with, with my 16 year old son jimmy and um uh, you know, getting some things done, like we put a radiator in it, and we did the brakes, and we put new shocks on it, and it's got new tires. Um, and no, <laughs> I didn't film any of it. Um, it was just things that needed to be done, and it was, when the things needed to be fixed, it was too cold, and uh, a lot of times it was too late to uh, be filming, so... It is what it is. You just we, we work around here like, you know, when we have the chance, when we have the time. And sometimes we don't get we don't get the time until after the sun goes down. And uh, working in the garage right now is not really an option. Um, as far as like a project, uh, some of you guys know I had that uh, 66 Chevelle uh, a while back and uh, I got rid of it. Not really because I even really needed to. I could have kept it if I wanted to. But, um, you know, I just, you know, <laughs> it was as far along as I was going. It was as, it was as far along as I was willing to take it. Um, but now I've been talking to my wife and I'm going to start looking around for uh, a vehicle that I've wanted for a very long time. And when you hear what, you know, what this vehicle is, you're going to ask yourself, why the hell would you want that? Um, because it's not the most desirable one of its species, but I love it. And I will tell you the story why I want one so bad. Um, what I'm looking for is a 1973 uh, Chevelle. And, uh, you know, not a lot of people like that car. They don't like that body style or whatever. It's not a very desirable Chevelle. And the reason why is because of that rear side window is so big. It doesn't bother me, but it bothers some people. Now, over there at Irish Outlaw Garage, I'm kind of jealous of that guy because he has one and it's in damn good shape. Man, I wish I had that car. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're looking around for a 73 Chevelle. Um, it's more than likely going to be a stick shift. Um, and it'll be a big block. Um, my dad had one. Uh, when I was, when I was a little kid and, um, uh, they bought, my mom and dad bought it brand new in 1973. And, um, I just remember riding around in that car and just thinking it was the coolest damn car on the road, you know? And, um, uh, I remember when he'd go out and he'd wash it and stuff, he'd, he would just sit there and <laughs> basically rub that thing down like with a diaper. <laughs> shine it up pretty nice but um i mean I, I remember it was 
like a chamois yellow color with uh, like a, a suede brown or a not really a, a real dark brown type interior. It was kind of a light brown. Um, it was a nice car. It really was. Uh, it had Craigers on it. I know there's a lot of people that do. I don't like Craigers. Well, you know what? I do. And uh, my Chevelle's going to have Craigers on it. Um, it had, I don't know how wide they were, but they were, <laughs> they were some wide ass tires on that, on the rear end of that car. It had air shocks. It was, you know, it screamed seventies and early eighties, but, um, yeah, I mean, when, when, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm just looking for one of those. And, uh, when I find it, it'll be on the channel. Um, I mean, it, it's just gonna, it's going to be built into what I want. Everything that I that I would like to have is going to be in that car. It's going to be a stick shift. It's going to be a big block. It's going to be a tire burner. You know the way that, you know that's the way it is. No, I, there's a lot of people on YouTube. Oh, we got to build a burnout car. No, that's not going to be this car. Okay, it will burn the tires if I want it to, but it's not going to be designated for any specific reason um i'm gonna build it so that i can set it up in a lot of different ways and uh i don't know we'll see what happens um as far as anything else goes uh th there are some things some car shows and things like that that are coming up uh in the springtime that um you know I hope I can make happen as far as, uh, get, getting there and, and, uh, getting to see the vehicles and things like that. Cause you know, we love car shows around here. Um, but, uh, anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys kind of a, a quick video. Don't want to take too much of your time. I know there's, you know, there's parties to go to, there's beer to drink and there's asses to shake. So, <laughs> I hope everybody has a an awesome evening. Happy New Year. Party. Shake your ass. Have fun. But be safe. We love you. We'll catch you next time.